Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Brotherhood of Shadow. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. And in the last video, we had an amazing, awesome fight with Damon Drexel. We almost died several times, but we fought through it. We beat him, and then he knocked us out with poison gas. And unfortunately, we've come to, and the the vessel, the Orion, is eerily quiet. Now, unfortunately, uh, I have an admission to make. I've actually played through this whole everything you're going to see in this video. I unfortunately had my microphone muted when I did the whole thing, so there was nothing to go with it. So I'm going to go through it again. We're going to experience it together. Uh, I, I've i just experienced it before, so if I don't uh, act surprised at anything, don't... Uh, well, that's why. Now, that guy we just saw, he was noticeably red-skinned, and if you've ever seen any of the old Expanded Universe comics, uh, the Sith, the actual race of Sith, are, are red-skinned creatures, so uh, he obviously must be coming from the Sith artifact. Uh, these little things, these, uh, these little husky things, th those are the bodies of the Orion crew. Uh, this guy, well, let's see what he has to say. Nothing. He he actually has nothing to say. I I think maybe he says something, but because of the audio files, uh, we not that he's not saying, but he might be like groaning in pain or something. But because we don't have the audio files for the game, because we're on Android, uh, that might be one of the things. So he's one of Drexel's crew. He's not going to respond. What's the matter with you? Alright, uh, let's go ahead and force wave, and then go for some crits. See what happens. Oh, it didn't work on him. Nice. How are you missing when he's stunned? Come on, buddy. We need to hit some crits. What's a uh, tristasis on him? Uh, of course, he's stunned when, uh, for the first time, when I hit the stasis. Or this. Was he fighting back when he was stunned? That was weird. Okay, that took forever. Who are you? What has happened to everyone? Alright, so we are shadows, no more presence in the flesh. We seek to reclaim all that our bane has taken from us. So, Brotherhood of Shadow, these guys, I, I guess, from the Sith artifact, are the Shadow part of that. I don't think so. Alright, so we'll go in with the uh, immediate attack, and then... Do a couple force waves and some crits. I think that's what we'll do. Get in there. He's stunned. Mm. 
Nice. Nice! It's working. Looks like he's using Flurry on us. Let's Force Wave him again. No, it didn't work. He's almost down. He didn't leave us a lightsaber. That's fine. Let's go back here. Get this guy's stuff. I think he... Did he not leave stuff? No, I guess not. Alright, never mind. We'll keep on going. So those guys that appeared, the Jedi that, I don't know, messed with that uh, exchange guy's mind, maybe came from the Sith artifact, I think? Alright, we sense the presence of life, although faint, it seems at least some of the Orion's crew have survived. That's good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the dogs are dead. And we're going to go this way. And this guy's going to talk to us. And this is the mechanic. I, I'm going to say who are you, but you can tell from his voice he was the mechanic. And he's the traitor. I do, yeah, I'm not going to say that one. Uh, do you remember me? Where are you? What are you doing in there? And there's no way that that's true. He's the inside man, you're the traitor. He's gonna complain. And, oh, I want to ask him about his reasons. He's sick of working here. He's a disgruntled employee. Everybody breaks stuff. I get it, buddy. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, he had to get to the storage room so the captain could get to the artifact, and then... He touched it. Right, so after our fight, Drexel came, touched the artifact, and he's down. So he is a pretty smart Duros. I guess the uh, the ghost things haven't been able to uh, to get to him. Although if he's in the same room with a Sith artifact, you'd think he'd be the first one to get it. And he had too much Juma juice. Uh, okay, so what's wrong with the console here? And he blasts it. Alright, so how do I open the door? So there's a console at the other end of the ship. Fine, I'll go do it. And that's him over there, so we're gonna go this way. What are you? What are your plans? And both to 
have plans, one must have purpose, one must have flesh, and both were lost to the Shadow's Bane. Interesting. Uh, what did you what did you do to the crew of the ship? And that lightsaber belonged to Damon Drexel. What have you done with him? So he tampered with the Shadow's Bane, which is, I guess, the Sith artifact, and it in turn consumed him. So what happens now? That's a it's that's weird, and I didn't I don't understand this even the second time around. you you echo an existence, yet without flesh we shadows are unable to recall what that existence was. What do you mean by that? And he won't tell me. <laughs> yeah, so basically he wants my body. He wants my body. Can't have it, buddy. You cannot have it. Double force wave, double crits, you're gonna go down. We made the saves. Oh, no, not that time. How I it irritates me that he's just standing there and we miss him with our lightsaber. That seems impossible. Forty-three damage, I love that. Very, oh, we're gonna we're gonna murder this guy. I mean, he's already dead, but that's beside the point. One more good one. All right, good. Cannot be disputed. You know it, buddy. If you expect me to cooperate with you, then you are sorely mistaken. You have killed innocent people here, and that I cannot forgive. There's the captain. Uh, okay, so he was over here. And yeah, so these are all crew members. Poor fellas. I liked the crew of this ship. And over here, oh, I think there's some loot. Yeah, there's some loot in here. We can get all the other Mandalorian Wars robes. They all do the same thing. It's not a big deal. And let's talk to this guy, M4H4. Alright, you notice a collection of audio recordings jammed into this Astromex droid's frames. Now, when I listen to these recordings, there's not going to be any voice, uh, and I, I don't know if that's because the audio files for the, um, you know, the Android version of, of Brotherhood of Shadow, you don't get the audio to work, it doesn't do the same thing in Android, but you can at least read them. So I'll just read them here. Talana is dead. I killed her myself. We were so close once, like sisters. Yet the Mandalorian Wars changed all that. Revan changed all that. She spoke of many things during our encounter, some making sense, others making none. What is certain is that I can no longer command the force which flows within me. Though I have little doubt that I will find a use for it here. With the exception to Captain Drexel, these people are weak. With nothing but their contemptible desire for adventure to see them through their pointless and soon to be short lives. The rumors are true. Revan is indeed dead. Malak betrayed my master and then claimed the title of Dark Lord of the Sith for himself. Had I known of his true intentions, I would have killed Malak at Malachor V, sparing the Sith from what will surely be a disastrous rule. All I have left is the crystal which resided within the lightsaber destroyed during the escape from my master's ship. My role as the Orion's merchant should allow me to secure the parts I need to rebuild it, but it will never be the same. I will never be the same. So, 
whoever recorded this was obviously a Sith and my apprentice. Kobayashi approached me today and delivered the news that a faction within the Orion's crew are secretly plotting to overthrow Damon Drexel from his captaincy. This news comes as a little surprise. Since my arrival here, I've been told that Captain Drexel has changed beyond recognition, that he has become a different man, more determined, more ruthless, and more unforgiving. It was only ever a matter of time before the more virtuous of the, Ori of the Orion's crew intervened. So this is Sarah. I meant to say that before. Kobayashi doesn't believe this to be a coincidence and suggested that my dark presence may have had unforeseen effects on Captain Drexel's already unstable psyche. I can't say I believe him, but then again, with the Force, anything is possible. Uh, so, when we first met Sarah, she seemed a little weird, like almost like she recognized us. Uh, and then, listen to the fourth recording, it bothers me a little bit that they spelled fourth wrong. How many months has it been since I came here? Since I began living like this? false be, since I began living this false life. At first, it seemed like a necessary deception, one that would ultimately allow me to return to my true life unscathed. Yet the opportunity to escape came and passed, time after time. Why didn't I escape? Why didn't I leave these people to their fates? Have I actually grown to tolerate, even enjoy the company of these people? What has happened to me? Since Revan's passing, everything has changed for me. Having only recently regained my connection to the Force, I am now weaker, there is no doubt. Yet why does this not trouble me as much as it should? Our new captain has brought an outsider aboard the Orion during our stop on Tatooine. The Force is strong with this one. I wonder who it could be. So it, it makes me wonder, because I kind of thought that she recognized us, um, but maybe... I mean, Revan always had the Revan mask. Maybe she never saw him. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. It's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. Haven't chosen to force themselves upon us. You must realize and accept that you are destined to deliver we shadows to we shadows our vessel of flesh. So they want me to find a vessel of flesh for them. Ah, I kind of missed that before. <laughs> Alright, so he's not going to bother us. There's nothing that way. We're just going to keep on going. More of the dead crew. And then somebody goes running that way. It kind of looks that that might have been Sarah. Uh, was there stuff over here? No. Computer panel. Alright, and this was a little confusing. Open the storage room door. And I, and I don't know if it's confusing again. Was there a voice acted part to this that maybe I'm missing? But okay, fine... Emergency lockdown activated, storage room secure, insert code keys. We don't have code keys, so it's searching. Our query is matched. An announcement transcript concerning the storage room's automatic, automated lockdown. Okay. Find information regarding location plus code keys. Access information. Choose the most relevant search result. And there's another announcement transcript concerning the location of the code keys and log out. So that was really confusing. But if you look in the journal, you can see, having access to the Orion's only remaining terminal, you have discovered that an emergency lockdown is in effect. To remove it, you need to enter three separate code keys in a specific order. According to the information you have found within the system, each code key is stored within the memory core of one of our Orion's droids. You should locate the droid that houses the first key. So we have to find three code keys and then we can unlock the door. I get it. It took me a minute the first time. And in this mysteriously appearing backpack, we have some cool stuff. Some life support packs, because we need them. Uh, we ran out in the last battle with Dr Damon Drexel. The Zerka muscle suit. So if you put this on, it looks kind of weird. Uh, I think it's, yeah, right here. 
Uh, it does have a dexterity bonus of 4 and 5, like the uh, light suit you get at the very beginning of the game in Terrace. But it's a strength plus 5 and a constitution plus 5, which is cool, but it looks, it literally looks like a construction jumpsuit. It looks, it looks terrible. It's even got, I think maybe that's the Zerka symbol on the back? We're definitely not going to wear that. Let's put our Jedi Seer robe back on. Uh, wait, is this the right way? Yes, it is. Okay. In we go. The door... Oh, maybe not. This door appears to be locked from the other side. You can sense life behind the door. Hello, can you hear me? A vessel of flesh, the shadows bane. So, the shadows are trying to... Uh, possess him, I guess. What's wrong with you? Can you unlock this door? Alright, you're one of the... Uh, you, you've gone insane, haven't you? Open this door and I can correct that insanity. I'm not going to say that. Please open the door. Alright, and it's the Mandalorian guy that was so nice to us. I really... <sighs> Well, you can see where this is going to go. Alright, let's take him out. Uh, let's try stasis. We haven't really done that a lot. Oh, it totally didn't work. Let's try it again. Oh, now, now that he's stunned... Alright, he's down. And there's the droid. Uh, I think we can pick up, yeah, his stuff. We can pick up the Mandalorian scout armor. Of course we have to try it on. During combat? We're not in combat. Okay. Alright, Mandalorian scout armor. Boom. If we ever need to pretend we're a Mandalorian, we can do it now. Alright, let's talk to the droid. Give me the code key. He doesn't want to. Let's speak kindly to him and see what happens. So that's basically it. I need the code. And he doesn't want to give it to us. Let's kick him. And get the code key. Storage room code key one. We did it! Although we have two more to go. I think we're going to stop here. This is actually as far as I got in the last video that I made. Uh, so I was, I'm sorry that I didn't act all surprised when I was reading through everything and all excited. But it's, yeah, it's a thing. But thank you so much for watching. We'll find the next two code keys and finally take a look at the Sith ar artifact in the next video. Take care. We'll see you next time.